Hello friends, I am Kendra Winchester. Welcome back to my channel. So today we've taken a little field trip to my back porch because the lighting is really horrible in the library upstairs. So I was like, hey, let's go to the back porch and we'll do a currently reading video and that's what we'll do. So yeah, I'm gonna try to settle in here. Yeah, I don't even know what to do with this. So we're just gonna do the thing. Dylan's gonna be making background noise as always, never fear. You also might hear some thunder and rain and cicadas. Maybe not in that order. <laughs> anyway, so what am I currently reading? Which is why we're all here. Hold on. So many books. Okay. So with my reading habits, I usually have two print or ebooks and then two audiobooks going at the same time. Generally speaking, sometimes more. <laughs> Depends what's going on in my life. But what I'm currently reading at night, um, if I can't sleep, is Traveling with Ghosts by Shannon Leon Fowler. This is a story about a marine biologist and her fiance gets killed by a box jellyfish and she has to deal with all of the grief and uh, the family and just everything that goes with that. So she goes traveling to kind of deal with that. And so far I've read about a third of this book and it's really good and you do have to take it like in chunks because it is a grief memoir. It can be a bit overwhelming but so far it's really good and I mean again that cover is fantastic. The book I started on audio is In Other Words by Jhumpa Lahiri, and this is a very special book. So I love Jhumpa Lahiri. She wrote The Interpreter of Maladies, a short story collection that won the Pulitzer, and this is uh, written in Italian and English. So what she did was she wanted to learn Italian, so she did. And so of course, because she's amazing, you know, oh, I'm going to learn Italian and write a book in it. Sure. That's what she did. So she learned language and then Anne Goldstein who translates Elena Fronte translated Jump Lahiri's book in Italian to English. It's like Inception or something. I don't know. But it's perfect for Women in Translation Month because I've been studying translation in general for a while uh, for Women in Translation Month and I think this is just the epitome of of that. It's it's really cool. So um, I didn't get a chance to include this on the Reading Room podcast because I discovered it too late really um i it just didn't make it to the top of tbr fast enough which i don't know why like you look back what happened i don't know anyway it's here now so i am going to listen to this and i just like almost like threw it into the wall i don't know what's going on anyway so yeah i'm really excited about this one obviously and stay tuned totally different vein of like thought or genre or whatever is um, See What I Have Done by Sarah Schmidt and this is about Lizzie Borden who supposedly killed both of her parents with an axe and this is like a fictionalized account of that and I didn't know when I heard about this book for some reason I was thinking it was the 1960s or 70s I don't know where I got that number obviously I don't know enough about Lizzie Borden but this is actually set in 1892 so yeah I I don't know but I have had this hole in my heart since I read The Butcher's Hook because I love that protagonist so much because she's so weird and like sinister and I really love a good villain. Like I really love villains and so um, having a character like that and being inside their head is just so fascinating. And we get other viewpoints in this book besides Lizzie's so I'm really excited about this one. I haven't gotten very far at all but because uh, I had to put it down because I had books I had to read but now I think we'll, I'll be able to get to it. And last but certainly not least and good because the rain is picking up again, is a book that I got today. So um, I'm pretty good friends with my UPS guy. You might imagine Dylan loves him. It Like Dylan knows, he knows his car, like the truck and everything. So um, normally like I know when he's coming and so I make sure I'm, you know, there to get the package or whatever. And you know how that works, right? You get book mail anyway. So I'm at the gym actually and I live in a housing complex and so it has a gym in it and so I'm over there at the gym and so I see this UPS truck driving by and he stops and he looks in and I'm there and I'm, he's like oh hey and so he stops and he gets out he comes into like the lobby it's like here are your packages and that was really nice of him Sam thought it was kind of creepy but you know what I didn't miss getting this and I didn't have to pick it up tomorrow from the UPS store because of that amazing UPS guy so I think I think he's cool anyway so <laughs> this is Stay With Me by Aobami and Abayo I don't think I need to tell you that this was shortlisted for the uh, 
Bailey's prize. So yeah, it, it was a favorite to win and it didn't win, but that's okay. Uh, it's still very much loved and I'm so excited to get this book. Um, I'm probably gonna read it this weekend because I just can't resist. In the United States, this book comes out on the 22nd of August and I can't tell you why I have it early, but I will tell you later, I promise. So stay tuned. My camera is doing very strange things right now. I don't know, but you can see the cover. It is really quite, quite psychedelic. It's great. I think it's just struggling because there's so many colors going on in this, in this frame. Okay, isn't that amazing? I think it's fantastic. So yeah, that's it for me for today. Uh, what are you guys reading? I want to know. Have you read any of the books that I have, you know, talked about that I'm currently reading? Um, what books would you recommend? And also, Women Translation Month is coming up, so tell me like what books in translation that you would recommend or that you plan on reading. Anyway, I'm gonna say goodbye, and I guess I will talk to you later. Bye, guys. Are you bored? Has mom been talking about books too long? Yeah? Do you not like the rain either? You're not getting attention and it's raining. What is your life coming to, Dylan?